everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm pulling out my old Samsung DLP TV. This thing is from late 2004. And we had to get rid of it, or stop using it, should I say, because it developed issues. Because a lot of my game systems were going through component at the time. And the component module in there has seemed to have failed. But there's alternate options now, and I'm trying to use those, so I decided to pull this thing back out of retirement and try and get it going. Now, everything seems to be working fine for the most part, except occasionally there'll be some flickering on the left side of the screen, and I can't figure out what's going on with that. Some people say it's the color wheel, some people say it's the lamp. None of it really makes sense because it's not the whole screen, it's just isolated to a little half of the screen zone, and I've seen several people over the years way back talk about having this problem and no one ever has been able to correct it so it is what it is it's only really noticeable on bright screens and when i'm playing on older games like you'll see in this you, you'll notice the flicker and it's a little more prominent in the recording than when i'm actually playing so it's something that's totally tolerable but i just miss playing on this dlp because it's so much easier on my eyes than the, the modern TVs are and you know they're getting better but still LED TVs are pretty harsh I don't have an OLED TV yet so I don't know what that's like but all I know is these newer TVs are pretty harsh in the eyes you'll know if you've watched any of my videos in the past that I like CRTs because they're easier on my eyes and uh, my Macintosh has a retina display which is still a little harsh on my eyes, but because it is so fine in its resolution, it doesn't bother me that much. But I can also turn the brightness down quite a bit if it's, if it's really getting to me. I found out when I'm playing games, I'm playing less amounts of time because of the fact that my eyes just get tired. So I thought I'd you know bring this thing back out and give it a go. And I found out right away, I was wanting to play longer sessions already. And now since, you know, things like the minis came out and the PlayStation 1 mini, you can mod that and you can put a bunch of ROMs on there and the video games and different systems. That's a good way to take all my current game collections and put it on there and run it through HDMI and play things on this TV now. There's also a DVI input that I can use with converters. And there's also VGA on the back. And I've ordered a component to VGA adapter so i'm going to try and get things like my gamecube and my ps2 working on this again because like i said the component has totally failed so having said all that i just wanted a, a system where i could play longer sessions that weren't so rough on my eyes my old aging eyes and, uh, this seems to do it since it's only 720p but you know up scaling is not really a thing on these but it just actually has a softer look to it. And you get a lot of flickering on LED TVs when, when you know, colors are shifting, especially pixels. So this, this TV doesn't have that, and it's just so much better. But I just wanted you to see what DLPs look like. They get a lot of crap over the years, and, and rightfully so, because they're a maintenance nightmare. And you can even see the screen on this one when it's in 4x3. You get kind of the, a little bit of a pin cushion on the sides issue you know and that's just i'd have to go inside there's no menu to adjust that it's just as it is i'd have to go in and physically adjust the screens and stuff and you know knowing that it's just one of the flaws of that doesn't bother me when the overall ease of looking at this on my eyes is just so much better and any games that are in total widescreen it's not really noticeable it's only when you're looking at stuff towards the center in the four by three that it kind of becomes more prominent so having all of those downsides are a, a problem but just the factor of i can play two maybe three hours straight on something like this without eye fatigue compared to playing on a modern tv where by the time an hour goes by i'm pretty much done with a session because i've had enough so here it is this is a dlp samsung from 2004 and uh, they had improved the technology. They're still out there in projectors and stuff, just regular projectors. But I was just thinking about it, and I'm like, why is it I don't play games as long as I used to? And I think that's part of it, just the eye strain. So I'm going back to some of the older technology and displaying it, because maybe, you know, that's a problem for some other people, and there could be some other solutions out there for them. And I'm sure if you wanted to try a DLP, 
there's got to be people out there that are dumping these just like they were dumping CRTs at one time. And they're a little bulky, but they're super light, so it's not really that big a deal. You know, if you if you got two people, you can move it around a lot easier than a, a CRT. So it's, it's worth a try if you have a nice space to put it in, in somewhere in the house and you want to just, you know, mess around with it. Because if you get one from the later 2000s, there's probably a good chance that it's still running well. Uh, the downside is, is if the uh, color wheel goes out, but I think they switched it to LED lighting or something in the, in the, in the future ones. But if the, the bulb goes out for the projector or something, that's expensive. The color wheel, I think, is in all of them. So I'm not sure. But either way, those are expensive things to repair. So if you get one, just kind of let it, you know, run its life course and maybe just enjoy it while you can. Because uh, they're, they're not really worth salvaging beyond the point of that. Because all the components in there that aren't guaranteed to fix what exact problem you may be having with them are pretty costly, you know. You're looking at $150 and up, and sometimes up is in the $300 range to get new components and stuff. And that's just not worth it. So, you know, if you get one, maybe you try it out and you have some fun with it. And, you know, if it dies in three or four years, you know, you just had a good run and you kind of experienced the DLP era that you never had a chance to experience. So... There we go. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to let this thing ride out its life and just enjoy some gaming on it while I can because I've had it in storage and I'm like, what's the point of having it in storage? Either use it or chuck it. So I'm going to use it and when it totally craps out, it's going to crap out and that'll be that. So hopefully you had some fun watching some of this gameplay and uh, we'll see you next time. So long.